In mathematics, a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers, symbols, or expressions, arranged in rows and columns. The individual items in a matrix are called its elements or entries. An example of a matrix with two rows and three columns is Matrices of the same size can be added or subtracted element by element. But the rule for matrix multiplication is that two matrices can be multiplied only when the number of columns in the first equals the number of rows in the second. A major application of matrices is to represent linear transformations, that is, generalizations of linear functions such as f, x, equals 4x. For example, the rotation of vectors in three-dimensional space is a linear transformation which can be represented by a rotation matrix R. If V is a column vector describing the position of a point in space, the product RV is a column vector describing the position of that point after a rotation. The product of two matrices is a matrix that represents the composition of two linear transformations. Another application of matrices is in the solution of a system of linear equations. If the matrix is square, it is possible to deduce some of its properties by computing its determinant. For example, a square matrix has an inverse if and only if its determinant is not zero. Eigenvalues and eigenvectors provide insight into the geometry of linear transformations. Applications of matrices are found in most scientific fields. In every branch of physics, including classical mechanics, optics, electromagnetism, quantum mechanics, and quantum electrodynamics, they are used to study physical phenomena, such as the motion of rigid bodies. In computer graphics, they are used to project a three-dimensional image onto a two-dimensional screen. In probability theory and statistics, stochastic matrices are used to describe sets of probabilities. For instance, they are used within the page rank algorithm that ranks the pages in a Google search. Matrix calculus generalizes classical analytical notions such as derivatives and exponentials to higher dimensions. A major branch of numerical analysis is devoted to the development of efficient algorithms for matrix computations, a subject that is centuries old and is today an expanding area of research. Matrix decomposition methods simplify computations, both theoretically and practically. Algorithms that are tailored to particular matrix structures, such as sparse matrices and near-diagonal matrices, expedite computations in finite element method and other computations. Infinite matrices occur in planetary theory and in atomic theory. A simple example of an infinite matrix is the matrix representing the derivative operator, which acts on the Taylor series of a function. Definition A matrix is a rectangular array of numbers or other mathematical objects for which operations such as addition and multiplication are defined. Most commonly, a matrix over a field F is a rectangular array of scalars from F. Most of this article focuses on real and complex matrices, that is, matrices whose elements are real numbers or complex numbers, respectively. More general types of entries are discussed below. For instance, this is a real matrix. The numbers, Symbols or expressions in the matrix are called its entries or its elements. The horizontal and vertical lines of entries in a matrix are called rows and columns, respectively. Size The size of a matrix is defined by the number of rows and columns that it contains. A matrix with m rows and n columns is called an ma a, a n matrix or m by n matrix, while m and n are called its dimensions. For example, the matrix A above is a 3AA, A2 matrix. Matrices which have a single row are called row vectors, and those which have a single column are called column vectors. A matrix which is the same number of rows and columns is called a square matrix. A matrix with an infinite number of rows or columns is called an infinite matrix. In some contexts such as computer algebra programs it is useful to consider a matrix with no rows or no columns called an empty matrix. Notation Matrices are commonly written in box brackets. An alternative notation uses large parentheses instead of box brackets. The specifics of symbolic matrix notation varies widely, with some prevailing trends. Matrices are usually symbolized using uppercase letters, while the corresponding lowercase letters, 
with two subscript indices, represent the entries. In addition to using uppercase letters to symbolize matrices, many authors use a special typographical style, commonly bold face upright, to further distinguish matrices from other mathematical objects. An alternative notation involves the use of a double underline with a variable name, with or without bold face style. The entry in the ith row and jth column of a matrix A is sometimes referred to as the I, J auth entry of the matrix, and most commonly denoted as I, J, or H. Alternative notations for that entry are A, I, J, or I, J. For example, the entry of the following matrix A is 5. Sometimes, the entries of a matrix can be defined by a formula such as I, J equals F, I, J. For example, each of the entries of the following matrix A is determined by age equals I A J. In this case, the matrix itself is sometimes defined by that formula, within square brackets or double parenthesis. For example, the matrix above is defined as A equals, I J, or A equals. If matrix size is M A, N, the above mentioned formula F, I, J, is valid for any I equals 1. M and any J equals 1. N. This can be either specified separately, or using M A, N as a subscript. For instance, the matrix A above is 3 A, 4 and can be defined as A equals, I A J, or A equals, I A J, 3 A, 4. Some programming languages utilize doubly subscripted arrays to represent an MA, N matrix. Some programming languages start the numbering of array indexes at zero, in which case the entries of an M by N matrix are indexed by zero a per mail currency I A per mail currency MA1 and zero a per mail currency J A per mail currency NA1. This article follows the more common convention in mathematical writing where enumeration starts from one. The set of all M by N matrices is denoted TH, M, N. Basic operations. There are a number of basic operations that can be applied to modify matrices, called matrix addition, scalar multiplication, transposition, matrix multiplication, row operations, and submatrix. Addition, scalar multiplication and transposition. Familiar properties of numbers extend to these operations of matrices. For example, addition is commutative, that is, the matrix sum does not depend on the order of the summands, or plus a bar equals a bar plus a. The transpose is compatible with addition and scalar multiplication, as expressed by t equals c, a t, and ta equals an r to plus a b t. Finally, ta equals a. Matrix multiplication. Multiplication of two matrices is defined if and only if the number of columns of the left matrix is the same as the number of rows of the right matrix. If A is an M by N matrix and B is an N by P matrix, then the matrix product AB is the M by P matrix whose entries are given by dot product of the corresponding row of A and the corresponding column of B, where 1 a per mail currency I A per mail currency M and 1 a per mail currency J A per mail currency P. For example, the underlined entry 2340 in the product is calculated as plus plus equals 2340. Matrix multiplication satisfies the rules C equals A, B C, and C equals A C plus B C as well as C, A plus B, equals C A plus C B, whenever the size of the matrices is such that the various products are defined. The product A B may be defined without B A being defined, namely if A and B are M by N and N by K matrices respectively, and M A per mil K. Even if both products are defined, they need not be equal, that is, generally, A B a per mil B A, that is, matrix multiplication is not commutative, in marked contrast to numbers whose product is independent of the order of the factors. An example of two matrices not commuting with each other is. Whereas. Besides the ordinary matrix multiplication just described, there exist other less frequently used operations on matrices that can be considered forms of multiplication, such as the Hadamard product and the Kronecker product. They arise in solving matrix equations such as the Sylvester equation. Row operations There are three types of row operations, row addition, 
that is adding a row to another, row multiplication, that is multiplying all entries of a row by a non-zero constant. Row switching, that is interchanging two rows of a matrix. These operations are used in a number of ways, including solving linear equations and finding matrix inverses. Submatrix A submatrix of a matrix is obtained by deleting any collection of rows and or columns. For example, for the following 3 by 4 matrix, we can construct a 2 by 3 submatrix by removing row 3 and column 2. The minors and cofactors of a matrix are found by computing the determinant of certain submatrices. Linear equations Matrices can be used to compactly write and work with multiple linear equations, that is, systems of linear equations. For example, if A is an M by N matrix, X designates a column vector of N variables X1, X2, Xn, and B is a ma, one column vector, then the matrix equation, X equals B, is equivalent to the system of linear equations, A1, 1x1 plus a1, 2x2 plus, plus a1, nxn equals b1, am, 1x1 plus am, 2x2 plus, plus am, nxn equals bm. Linear transformations. Matrices and matrix multiplication reveal their essential features when related to linear transformations, also known as linear maps. A real M by N matrix A gives rise to a linear transformation or N R M mapping each vector X in R N to the product X, which is a vector in R M. Conversely, each linear transformation F, R N and R M arises from a unique M by N matrix A. Explicitly, the entry of A is the ith coordinate of F, ej, where ej equals is the unit vector with 1 in the jth position and 0 elsewhere. The matrix A is said to represent the linear map F and A is called the transformation matrix of F. For example, the 2A, 2 matrix, can be viewed as the transform of the unit square into a parallelogram with vertices at hand. The parallelogram pictured at the right is obtained by multiplying A with each of the column vectors and in turn. These vectors define the vertices of the unit square. The following table shows a number of 2 by 2 matrices with the associated linear maps of A2. The blue original is mapped to the green grid and shapes. The origin is marked with a black point. Under the one-to-one -one correspondence between matrices and linear maps, matrix multiplication corresponds to composition of maps. If A K by M matrix B represents another linear map Ga room A R K, then the composition G A F is represented by B A since G A F X equals G F X equals G X equals b, x, equals x. The last equality follows from the above-mentioned associativity of matrix multiplication. The rank of a matrix A is the maximum number of linearly independent row vectors of the matrix, which is the same as the maximum number of linearly independent column vectors. Equivalently it is the dimension of the image of the linear map represented by A. The rank nullity theorem states that the dimension of the kernel of a matrix plus the rank equals the number of columns of the matrix. Square matrices A square matrix is a matrix with the same number of rows and columns. An n by n matrix is known as a square matrix of order n. Any two square matrices of the same order can be added and multiplied. The entries ii form the main diagonal of a square matrix. They lie on the imaginary line which runs from the top left corner to the bottom right corner of the matrix. Main types Diagonal and triangular matrices If all entries of A below the main diagonal are zero, A is called an upper triangular matrix. Similarly if all entries of A above the main diagonal are zero, A is called a lower triangular matrix. If all entries outside the main diagonal are zero, A is called a diagonal matrix. Identity matrix, the identity matrix in of size n is the n by n matrix in which all the elements on the main diagonal are equal to 1 and all other elements are equal to 0, for example. It is a square matrix of order n, and also a special kind of diagonal matrix. It is called identity matrix because multiplication with it leaves a matrix unchanged, n equals m a equals a for any m by n matrix a, symmetric or skew symmetric matrix. 
A square matrix A that is equal to its transpose, that is, A equals AT, is a symmetric matrix. If instead, A was equal to the negative of its transpose, that is, A equals AT, then A is a skew symmetric matrix. In complex matrices, symmetry is often replaced by the concept of Hermitian matrices, which satisfy or, equals A, where the star or asterisk denotes the conjugate transpose of the matrix, that is, the transpose of the complex conjugate of A. By the spectral theorem, real symmetric matrices and complex Hermitian matrices have any agendases. That is, every vector is expressible as a linear combination of eigenvectors. In both cases, all eigenvalues are real. This theorem can be generalized to infinite dimensional situations related to matrices with infinitely many rows and columns, see below. Invertible matrix and its inverse, A square matrix A is called invertible or non-singular if there exists a matrix B such that, A B equals B A equals in. If B exists, it is unique and is called the inverse matrix of A, denoted or 1. Definite matrix, A symmetric now, N matrix is called positive definite, if for all non-zero vectors A are N the associated quadratic form given by, Q, X equals x tax, takes only positive values. If the quadratic form takes only non-negative values, the symmetric matrix is called positive semidefinite. Hence the matrix is indefinite precisely when it is neither positive semidefinite nor negative semidefinite. A symmetric matrix is positive definite if and only if all its eigenvalues are positive. The table at the right shows two possibilities for 2 by 2 matrices. Allowing us input two different vectors instead yields the bilinear form associated to A, B A equals X A. Orthogonal matrix, an orthogonal matrix is a square matrix with real entries whose columns and rows are orthogonal unit vectors. Equivalently, a matrix A is orthogonal if its transpose is equal to its inverse, which entails where I is the identity matrix. An orthogonal matrix A is necessarily invertible, unitary, and normal. The determinant of any orthogonal matrix is either plus 1 or a 1. A special orthogonal matrix is an orthogonal matrix with determinant plus 1. As a linear transformation, every orthogonal matrix with determinant plus 1 is a pure rotation, while every orthogonal matrix with determinant minus 1 is either a pure reflection, or a composition of reflection and rotation. The complex the analog of an orthogonal matrix is a unitary matrix. Main operations, trace, the trace, tr, a, of a square matrix A is the sum of its diagonal entries. While matrix multiplication is not commutative as mentioned above, the trace of the product of two matrices is independent of the order of the factors, tr, a, b, equals tr, b, a. This is immediate from the definition of matrix multiplication. Also, the trace of a matrix is equal to that of its transpose, that is, tr, a, equals tr, a, t. Determinant. The determinant det, a, or a of a square matrix A is a number encoding certain properties of the matrix. A matrix is invertible if and only if its determinant is non-zero. Its absolute value equals the area or volume of the image of the unit square. While its sign corresponds to the orientation of the corresponding linear map, the determinant is positive if and only if the orientation is preserved. The determinant of 2 by 2 matrices is given by. The determinant of 3 by 3 matrices involves six terms. The more lengthy Leibniz formula generalizes these two formulae to all dimensions. The determinant of the product of square matrices equals the product of their determinants, det. A B equals debt A A debt B. Adding a multiple of any row to another row, or a multiple of any column to another column, does not change the determinant. Interchanging two rows or two columns affects the determinant by multiplying it by a 1. Using these operations, any matrix can be transformed to a lower triangular matrix, and for such matrices the determinant equals the product of the entries on the main diagonal. This provides a method to calculate the determinant of any matrix. Finally, the Laplace expansion expresses the determinant in terms of minus, 
that is, determinants of smaller matrices. This expansion can be used for a recursive definition of determinants, that can be seen to be equivalent to the Leibniz formula. Determinants can be used to solve linear systems using Cramer's rule, where the division of the determinants of two related square matrices equates to the value of each of the system's variables. Eigenvalues and eigenvectors. A number i, and a non-zero vector v satisfying, of equals i v, are called an eigenvalue and an eigenvector of a, respectively. The number i is an eigenvalue of a now, n matrix a if and only if or i n is not invertible, which is equivalent to the polynomial picker ampere in an indeterminate x given by valuation the determinant debt, zina a, is called the characteristic polynomial of a. It is a monic polynomial of degree n. Therefore the polynomial equation picker ampere, i a equals a zero has at most n different solutions, that is, eigenvalues of the matrix. They may be complex even if the entries of A are real. According to the Kalia euro hamilton theorem, pick a ampere, A, equals zero, that is, the result of substituting the matrix itself into its own characteristic polynomial yields the zero matrix. Computational aspects, matrix calculations can be often performed with different techniques. Many problems can be solved by both direct algorithms or iterative approaches. For example, the eigenvectors of a square matrix can be obtained by finding a sequence of vectors x n converging to an eigenvector when n tends to infinity. To be able to choose the more appropriate algorithm for each specific problem, it is important to determine both the effectiveness and precision of all the available algorithms. The domain studying these matters is called numerical linear algebra. As with other numerical situations, two main aspects are the complexity of algorithms and their numerical stability. Determining the complexity of an algorithm means finding upper bounds or estimates of how many elementary operations such as additions and multiplications of scalars are necessary to perform some algorithm, for example, multiplication of matrices. For example, Calculating the matrix product of two n by n matrix using the definition given above needs n three multiplications, since for any of the n two entries of the product, n multiplications are necessary. The Strassen algorithm outperforms this naive algorithm. It needs only n 2.807 multiplications. A refined approach also incorporates specific features of the computing devices. In many practical situations additional information about the matrices involved is known. An important case are sparse matrices, that is, matrices most of whose entries are zero. There are specifically adapted algorithms for, say, solving linear systems ax equals b for sparse matrices a, such as the conjugate gradient method. An algorithm is, roughly speaking, numerically stable if little deviations in the input values do not lead to big deviations in the result. For example, calculating the inverse of a matrix via Laplace's formula denotes the adjugate matrix of A, or 1 equals ADJ, A, slash debt, A, may lead to significant rounding errors if the determinant of the matrix is very small. The norm of a matrix can be used to capture the conditioning of linear algebraic problems, such as computing a matrix inverse. Although most computer languages are not designed with commands or libraries for matrices, as early as the 1970s, some engineering desktop computers such as the HP 9830 had ROM cartridges to add basic commands for matrices. Some computer languages such as APL were designed to manipulate matrices, and various mathematical programs can be used to aid computing with matrices. Decomposition there are several methods to render matrices into a more easily accessible form. They are generally referred to as matrix decomposition or matrix factorization techniques. The interest of all these techniques is that they preserve certain properties of the matrices in question, such as determinant, rank or inverse, so that these quantities can be calculated after applying the transformation, or that certain matrix operations are algorithmically easier to carry out for some types of matrices. The LU decomposition factors matrices as a product of lower and an upper triangular matrices. 
Once this decomposition is calculated, linear systems can be solved more efficiently, by a simple technique called forward and back substitution. Likewise, inverses of triangular matrices are algorithmically easier to calculate. The Gaussian elimination is a similar algorithm. It transforms any matrix to rho echelon form. Both methods proceed by multiplying the matrix by suitable elementary matrices, which correspond to permuting rows or columns and adding multiples of one row to another row. Singular value decomposition expresses any matrix A as a product adva, where U and V are unitary matrices and D is a diagonal matrix. The E again decomposition or diagonalization expresses A as a product V D V A1 where D is a diagonal matrix and V is a suitable invertible matrix. If A can be written in this form, it is called diagonalizable. More generally, and applicable to all matrices, the Jordan decomposition transforms a matrix into Jordan normal form, that is to say matrices whose only non-zero entries are the eigenvalues I1 to IN of A, placed on the main diagonal and possibly entries equal to 1 directly above the main diagonal, as shown at the right. Given the again decomposition, the nth power of A can be calculated via n equals n equals V D V A one V D V A one V D V A one equals V D N V A one, and the power of a diagonal matrix can be calculated by taking the corresponding powers of the diagonal entries, which is much easier than doing the exponentiation for A instead. This can be used to compute the matrix exponentially A. A need frequently arising in solving linear differential equations, matrix logarithms and square roots of matrices. To avoid numerically ill-conditioned situations, further algorithms such as the show decomposition can be employed. Abstract algebraic aspects and generalizations, matrices can be generalized in different ways. Abstract algebra uses matrices with entries in more general fields or even rings while linear algebra codifies properties of matrices and the notion of linear maps. It is possible to consider matrices with infinitely many columns and rows. Another extension of tensors, which can be seen as higher dimensional arrays of numbers, as opposed to vectors, which can often be realized as sequences of numbers, while matrices are rectangular or two-dimensional array of numbers. Matrices subject to certain requirements tend to form groups known as matrix groups. Matrices with more general entries, this article focuses on matrices whose entries are real or complex numbers. However, matrices can be considered with much more general types of entries than real or complex numbers. As a first step of generalization, any field, that is, a set where addition, subtraction, Multiplication and division operations are defined and well behaved, may be used instead of or C, for example rational numbers or finite fields. For example, coding theory makes use of matrices over finite fields. Wherever eigenvalues are considered, as these are roots of a polynomial they may exist only in a larger field than that of the coefficients of the matrix. For instance they may be complex in case of a matrix with real entries. The possibility to reinterpret the entries of a matrix as elements of a larger field then allows considering each square matrix to possess a full set of eigenvalues. Alternatively one can consider only matrices with entries in an algebraically closed field, such as C, from the outset. More generally, abstract algebra makes great use of matrices with entries in a ring or rings are a more general notion than fields in that a division operation need not exist. The very same addition and multiplication operations of matrices extend to this setting too. The set M, N, R, of all square N by N matrices over R is a ring called matrix ring, isomorphic to the endomorphism ring of the left R module Rn. If the ring R is commutative, that is, its multiplication is commutative, then M, N, R, is a unitary non-commutative associative algebra over R. The determinant of square matrices over a commutative ring R can still be defined using the Leibniz formula. Such a matrix is invertible if and only if its determinant is invertible in R, generalizing the situation over a field F, where every non-zero element is invertible. Matrices over superrings are called supermatrices. Matrices do not always have all their entries in the same ring Euro, 
or even in any ring at all. One special but common case is block matrices, which may be considered as matrices whose entries themselves are matrices. The entries need not be quadratic matrices, and thus need not be members of any ordinary ring. But their sizes must fulfill certain compatibility conditions. Relationship to linear maps Linear maps Rn and Rm are equivalent to M by N matrices, as described above. More generally, any linear map F, V or W between finite dimensional vector spaces can be described by a matrix A equals, after choosing bases V1, Vn of V, and W1, Wm of W, which is such that. In other words, column J of A expresses the image of Vj in terms of the basis vectors V of W. Thus this relation uniquely determines the entries of the matrix A. Note that the matrix depends on the choice of the bases, different choices of bases give rise to different, but equivalent matrices. Many of the above concrete notions can be reinterpreted in this light, for example, the transpose matrix A T describes the transpose of the linear map given by A, with respect to the dual bases. These properties can be restated in a more natural way. The category of all matrices with entries in a field with multiplication as composition is equivalent to the category of finite dimensional vector spaces and linear maps over this field. More generally, the set of MA, N matrices can be used to represent the R linear maps between the free modules RM and RN for an arbitrary ring or with unity. When NA equals AM composition of these maps is possible, and this gives rise to the matrix ring of NA, N matrices representing the endomorphism ring of RN. Matrix groups. A group is a mathematical structure consisting of a set of objects together with a binary operation, that is, an operation combining any two objects to a third, subject to certain requirements. A group in which the objects are matrices and the group operation is matrix multiplication is called a matrix group. Since in a group every element has to be invertible, the most general matrix groups are the groups of all invertible matrices of a given size, called the general linear groups. Any property of matrices that is preserved under matrix products and inverses can be used to define further matrix groups. For example, matrices with a given size and with a determinant of one form a subgroup of their general linear group, called a special linear group. Orthogonal matrices, determined by the condition, MTM equals I form the orthogonal group. Every orthogonal matrix has determinant 1 or a 1. Orthogonal matrices with determinant 1 form a subgroup called special orthogonal group. Every finite group is isomorphic to a matrix group, as one can see by considering the regular representation of the symmetric group. General groups can be studied using matrix groups, which are comparatively well understood, by means of representation theory. Infinite matrices, it is also possible to consider matrices with infinitely many rows and or columns even if, being infinite objects, one cannot write down such matrices explicitly. All that matters is that for every element in the set indexing rows, and every element in the set indexing columns, there is a well-defined entry. The basic operations of addition, subtraction, scalar multiplication and transposition can still be defined without problem. However matrix multiplication may involve infinite summations to define the resulting entries, and these are not defined in general. If R is any ring with unity, then the ring of endomorphisms of as a writer module is isomorphic to the ring of column finite matrices whose entries are indexed by, and whose columns each contain only finitely many non-zero entries. The endomorphisms of M considered as a left M module result in an analogous object, the row finite matrices whose rows each only have finitely many non-zero entries. If infinite matrices are used to describe linear maps, then only those matrices can be used all of whose columns have but a finite number of non-zero entries, for the following reason. For a matrix A to describe a linear map F, bar W, basis for both spaces must have been chosen. Recall that by definition this means that every vector in the space can be written uniquely as a linear combination of basis vectors, so that written as a vector of V of coefficients, only finitely many entries by are non-zero. Now the columns of A describe the images by F of individual basis vectors of V and the basis of W, 
which is only meaningful if these columns have only finitely many non-zero entries. There is no restriction on the rows of A however, in the product or V there are only finitely many non-zero coefficients of V involved, so every one of its entries, even if it is given as an infinite sum of products, involves only finitely many non-zero terms and is therefore well defined. Moreover this amounts to forming a linear combination of the columns of A that effectively involves only finitely many of them, whence the result has only finitely many non-zero entries, because each of those columns do. One also sees that products of two matrices of the given type is well defined, is again of the same type, and corresponds to the composition of linear maps. If R is a normed ring, then the condition of row or column finiteness can be relaxed. With the norm in place, absolutely convergent series can be used instead of finite sums. For example, the matrices whose column sums are absolutely convergent sequences form a ring. Analogously of course, the matrices whose row sums are absolutely convergent series also form a ring. In that vein, infinite matrices can also be used to describe operators on Hilbert spaces, where convergence and continuity questions arise, which again results in certain constraints that have to be imposed. However, the explicit point of view of matrices tends to obfuscate the matter, and the abstract and more powerful tools of functional analysis can be used instead. Empty matrices An empty matrix is a matrix in which the number of rows or columns is zero. Empty matrices help dealing with maps involving the zero vector space. For example, if A is a 3 by 0 matrix and B is a 0 by 3 matrix, then AB is the 3 by 3 0 matrix corresponding to the null map from a three-dimensional space V to itself, while BA is a 0 by 0 matrix. There is no common notation for empty matrices, but most computer algebra systems allow creating and computing with them. The determinant of the 0 by 0 matrix is one as follows from regarding the empty product occurring in the Leibniz formula for the determinant is 1. This value is also consistent with the fact that the identity map from any finite dimensional space to itself has determinant of 1, a fact that is often used as a part of the characterization of determinants. Applications There are numerous applications of matrices, both in mathematics and other sciences. Some of them merely take advantage of the compact representation of a set of numbers in a matrix. For example, in game theory and economics, the payoff matrix encodes the payoff for two players, depending on which out of a given set of alternatives the players choose. Text mining and automated thesaurus compilation makes use of document term matrices such as TFIDF to track frequencies of certain words in several documents. Complex numbers can be represented by particular real 2 by 2 matrices via under which addition and multiplication of complex numbers and matrices correspond to each other. For example, 2 by 2 rotation matrices represent the multiplication with some complex number of absolute value 1, as above. A similar interpretation is possible for quaternions, and also for Clifford algebras in general. Early encryption techniques such as the Hill cipher also used matrices. However, due to the linear nature of matrices, these codes are comparatively easy to break. Computer graphics uses matrices both to represent objects and to calculate transformations of objects using affine rotation matrices to accomplish tasks such as projecting a three-dimensional object onto a two-dimensional screen, corresponding to a theoretical camera observation. Matrices over a polynomial ring are important in the study of control theory. Chemistry makes use of matrices in various ways, particularly since the use of quantum theory to discuss molecular bonding and spectroscopy. Examples are the overlap matrix and the Fock matrix used in solving the rule of Arwen equations to obtain the molecular orbitals of the Hartray-Euro-Fock method. Graph theory the adjacency matrix of a finite graph is a basic notion of graph theory. It records which vertices of the graph are connected by an edge. Matrices containing just two different values are called logical matrices. The distance matrix contains information about distances of the edges. These concepts can be applied to websites connected hyperlinks or cities connected by roads etc., in which case the matrices tend to be sparse, that is, 
contain few non-zero entries. Therefore, specifically tailored matrix algorithms can be used in network theory. Analysis in geometry, the Hessian matrix of a differentiable function ERN or consists of the second derivatives of E with respect to the several coordinate directions, that is. It encodes information about the local growth behavior of the function, given a critical point Z equals A, X1, A, or Xn, that is, a point where the first partial derivatives of E vanish, the function has a local minimum if the Hessian matrix is positive definite. Quadratic programming can be used to find global minima or maxima of quadratic functions closely related to the ones attached to matrices. Another matrix frequently used in geometrical situations is the Jacobi matrix of a differentiable map F, Rn or M. If F1, Fm denote the components of F, then the Jacobi matrix is defined as if n, m, and if the rank of the Jacobi matrix attains its maximal value m, f is locally invertible at that point, by the implicit function theorem. Partial differential equations can be classified by considering the matrix of coefficients of the highest order differential operators of the equation. For elliptic partial differential equations this matrix is positive definite, which has decisive influence on the set of possible solutions of the equation in question. The finite element method is an important numerical method to solve partial differential equations, widely applied in simulating complex physical systems. It attempts to approximate the solution to some equation by piecewise linear functions, where the pieces are chosen with respect to a sufficiently fine grid, which in turn can be recast as a matrix equation. Probability theory and statistics. Stochastic matrices are square matrices whose rows are probability vectors, that is, whose entries are non negative and sum up to 1. Stochastic matrices are used to define Markov chains with finitely many states. A row of the stochastic matrix gives the probability distribution for the next position of some particle currently in the state that corresponds to the row. Properties of the Markov chain like absorbing states, that is, states that any particle attains eventually, can be read off the eigenvectors of the transition matrices. Statistics also makes use of matrices in many different forms. Descriptive statistics is concerned with describing data sets, which can often be represented as data matrices, which may then be subjected to dimensionality reduction techniques. The covariance matrix encodes the mutual variance of several random variables. Another technique using matrices are linear least squares, a method that approximates a finite set of pairs. By a linear function, y per mil axi plus b, i equals 1. n, which can be formulated in terms of matrices, related to the singular value decomposition of matrices. Random matrices are matrices whose entries are random numbers, subject to suitable probability distributions, such as matrix normal distribution. Beyond probability theory, they are applied in domains ranging from number theory to physics. Symmetries and transformations in physics. Linear transformations and the associated symmetries play a key role in modern physics. For example, elementary particles in quantum field theory are classified as representations of the Lorentz group of special relativity and, more specifically, by their behavior under the spin group. Concrete representations involving the Pauli matrices and more general gamma matrices are an integral part of the physical description of fermions, which behave as spinners. For the three lightest quarks, there is a group theoretical representation involving the special unitary group SU, 3. For their calculations, physicists use a convenient matrix representation known as the Gell-Mann matrices, which are also used for the SU, 3 gauge group that forms the basis of the modern description of strong nuclear interactions, quantum chromodynamics. The kababoa euro kobayashi euro maskawa matrix, in turn, expresses the fact that the basic quark states that are important for weak interactions are not the same as, but linearly related to the basic quark states that define particles with specific and distinct masses. Linear combinations of quantum states, the first model of quantum mechanics represented the theory's operators by infinite dimensional matrices acting on quantum states. This is also referred to as matrix mechanics. 
One particular example is the density matrix that characterizes the mixed state of a quantum system as a linear combination of elementary, pure eigenstates. Another matrix serves as a key tool for describing the scattering experiments that form the cornerstone of experimental particle physics, collision reactions such as occur in particle accelerators, where non-interacting particles head towards each other and collide in a small interaction zone, with a new set of non-interacting particles as the result, can be described as the scalar product of outgoing particle states and a linear combination of ingoing particle states. The linear combination is given by a matrix known as the S-matrix, which encodes all information about the possible interactions between particles. Normal modes A general application of matrices in physics is to the description of linearly coupled harmonic systems. The equations of motion of such systems can be described in matrix form, with a mass matrix multiplying a generalized velocity to give the kinetic term and a force matrix multiplying a displacement vector to characterize the interactions. The best way to obtain solutions is to determine the system's eigenvectors, its normal modes, by diagonalizing the matrix equation. Techniques like this are crucial when it comes to the internal dynamics of molecules, the internal vibrations of systems consisting of mutually bound component atoms. They are also needed for describing mechanical vibrations, and oscillations in electrical circuits. Geometrical optics Geometrical optics provides further matrix applications. In this approximative theory, the wave nature of light is neglected. The result is a model in which light rays are indeed geometrical rays. If the deflection of light rays by optical elements is small, the action of a lens or reflective element on a given light ray can be expressed as multiplication of a two-component vector with a two-by-two two matrix called ray transfer matrix. The vector's components are the light ray's slope and its distance from the optical axis, while the matrix encodes the properties of the optical element. Actually, there are two kinds of matrices, viz. A refraction matrix describing the refraction at a lens surface, and a translation matrix describing the translation of the plane of reference to the next refracting surface, where another refraction matrix applies. The optical system, consisting of a combination of lenses and or reflective elements, is simply described by the matrix resulting from the product of the components matrices. Electronics Traditional mesh analysis in electronics leads to a system of linear equations that can be described with a matrix. The behavior of many electronic components can be described using matrices. Let A be a two-dimensional vector with the components input voltage V1 and input current I1 as its elements, and let B be a two-dimensional vector with the components output voltage V2 and output current I2 as its elements. Then the behavior of the electronic component can be described by B equals HA, where H is a 2x2 matrix containing one impedance element one admittance element and two dimensionless elements. Calculating a circuit now reduces to multiplying matrices. History Matrices have a long history of application in solving linear equations but they were known as arrays until the 1800s. The Chinese text The Nine Chapters on the Mathematical Art is the first example of the use of array methods to solve simultaneous equations, including the concept of determinants. In 1545 Italian mathematician Girolamo Cardano brought the method to Europe when he published Ars Magna. The Japanese mathematician Seki used the same array methods to solve simultaneous equations in 1683. The Dutch mathematician Jan de Witt represented transformations using arrays in his 1659 book Elements of Curves. Between 1700 and 1710 Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz publicized the use of arrays for recording information or solutions and experimented with over 50 different systems of arrays. Cramer presented his rule in 1750. The term matrix was coined by James Joseph Sylvester in 1850, who understood a matrix as an object giving rise to a number of determinants today called minors, that is to say, determinants of smaller matrices that derive from the original one by removing columns and rows. In an 1851 paper, Sylvester explains, I have in previous papers defined a matrix as a rectangular array of terms, out of which different systems of determinants may be engendered as from the womb of a common parent. 
Arthur Cayley published a treatise on geometric transformations using matrices that were not rotated versions of the coefficients being investigated as had previously been done. Instead he defined operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division as transformations of those matrices and showed the associative and distributive properties held true. Cayley investigated and demonstrated the non-commutative property of matrix multiplication as well as the commutative property of matrix addition. Early matrix theory had limited the use of arrays almost exclusively to determinants and Arthur Cayley's abstract matrix operations were revolutionary. He was instrumental in proposing a matrix concept independent of equation systems. In 1858 Cayley published his memoir on the theory of matrices in which he proposed and demonstrated the Cayley-Hamilton theorem. An English mathematician named Cullis was the first to use modern bracket notation for matrices in 1913 and he simultaneously demonstrated the first significant use the notation A equals, I, J, to represent a matrix for I, J refers to the ith row in the JTH column. The study of determinants sprang from several sources. Number theoretical problems led Gauss to relate coefficients of quadratic forms, that is, expressions such as x2 plus xy2 y2, and linear maps in three dimensions to matrices. Eisenstein further developed these notions, including the remark that, in modern parlance, matrix products are non-commutative. Cauchy was the first to prove general statements about determinants, using as definition of the determinant of a matrix A equals, I, J, the following, replace the powers A J K by A J K in the polynomial, where I denotes the product of the indicated terms. He also showed, in 1829, that the eigenvalues of symmetric matrices are real. Jacobi studied functional determinants a euro later called Jacobi determinants by Sylvester a euro which can be used to describe geometric transformations at a local level, see above. Kronecker's Volsungen a one-quarter bed I theory der Determinanten and Weierstrass zur Determinantin theory, both published in 1903, first treated determinants axiomatically, as opposed to previous more concrete approaches such as the mentioned formula of Cauchy. At that point, determinants were firmly established. Many theorems were first established for small matrices only, for example the Cayley-Euro-Hamilton theorem was proved for 2A, 2 matrices by Cayley in the aforementioned memoir, and by Hamilton for 4A, 4 matrices. Frobenius, working on bilinear forms, generalized the theorem to all dimensions. Also at the end of the 19th century the Gauss-Euro-Jordan elimination was established by Jordan. In the early 20th century, Matrices attained a central role in linear algebra. Partially due to their use in classification of the hypercomplex number systems of the previous century. The inception of matrix mechanics by Heisenberg, Born and Jordan led to studying matrices with infinitely many rows and columns. Later, von Neumann carried out the mathematical formulation of quantum mechanics by further developing functional analytic notions such as linear operators on Hilbert spaces, which, very roughly speaking, correspond to Euclidean space, but with an infinity of independent directions. Other historical usages of the word a euro or a matrix a euro in mathematics, the word has been used in unusual ways by at least two authors of historical importance. Bertrand Russell and Alfred North Whitehead in their Principia Mathematica used the word a euro or a matrix a euro in the context of their axiom of reducibility. They proposed this axiom as a means to reduce any function to one of lower type, successively, so that at the a euro or a bottom a euro the function is identical to its extension, a euro or e let us give the name of matrix to any function, of however many variables, which does not involve any apparent variables then any possible function other than a matrix is derived from a matrix by means of generalization, that is, by considering the proposition which asserts that the function in question is true with all possible values or with some value of one of the arguments, the other argument or arguments remaining undetermined a euro. For example a function i, x, y, of two variables x and y can be reduced to a collection of functions of a single variable, for example, y, 
by a euro e considering a euro the function for all possible values of a euro o in dive do also euro i substituted in place of variable x. And then the resulting collection of functions of the single variable y, that is, a euro i, 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 y can be reduced to a a euro o m matrix a euro of values by a euro e considering a euro the function for all possible values of a euro o in dive do also euro b substituted in place of variable y a euro j euro i i i b j alfred tarski in his 1946 introduction to logic used the word a euro o m matrix a euro synonymously with the notion of truth table as used in mathematical logic see also Notes. References. Anton, Howard, Elementary Linear Algebra, New York, Wiley, ISBN A0 471 84819 0. Arnold, Vladimir I. Cook, Roger, Ordinary Differential Equations, Berlin, Delaware, New York, New York, Springer Verlag, ISBN A 978-3-540-54813-3A, Artin, Michael, Algebra, Prentice Hall, ISBN A 978-0-89871-510-1A, Association for Computing Machinery, Computer Graphics, Tata McGraw Euro Hill, ISBN A 978-0-07-059376-3 Baker, Andrew J., Matrix Groups, An Introduction to Lie. Group Theory, Berlin Delaware New York New York, Springer Verlag, ISBN A 978-1-85233-470-3 Bow 3, David. Trefethen, Lloyd N., Numerical Linear Algebra. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics, ISBN A 978-0-89871-361-9 B. Regard, Raymond A. Frawley, John B., A First Course in Linear Algebra, with Optional Introduction to Groups, Rings, and Fields, Boston, Horton Mifflin Company. ISBN A 0 395 14017 Zam, Brecher, Otto, Linear Algebra with Applications, Prentice Haller, Bronson, Richard, Shaw's Outline of Theory and Problems of Matrix Operations, New York, McGraw Euro Hill, ISBN A 978 0 07 00798 6A, Brown, William C., Matrices and Vector Spaces, New York, New York, Marcel Decker, ISBN A. 978-0-8247-8419-5 Coburn, Nathaniel, Vector and Tensor Analysis, New York, New York, Macmillan, OCLC A 1029828 Conray, J. Bryan, Ranks of Elliptic Curves and Random Matrix Theory, Cambridge University Press. ISBN A 978-0-521-69964-8 Frawley, John B., A First Course in Abstract Algebra, Reading, Addison Wesley, ISBN A 0-201-01984-1. A. Fudenberg, Drew. De Rol, Jean, Game Theory, MIT Presser, Gilbarg, David. Trudinger, Neil S. Elliptic Partial Differential Equations of Second Order, Berlin Delaware New York New York, Springer Verlag, ISBN A 978-3-540-41160-4, Godsell, Chris. Royal, Gordon, Algebraic Graph Theory, Graduate Texts in Mathematics 207, Berlin Delaware New York New York, Springer Verlag, ISBN A 978 0 387-95220, Golub, Jean H. Van Loan, Charles F., Matrix Computations, Johns Hopkins, ISBN A 978 0 8018-5414-9, Gribe, Werner Heilbert, Linear Algebra, Graduate Texts in Mathematics, Berlin Delaware New York New York, Springer Verlag, ISBN A 978 0 387 90110 7 
Hamos, Paul Richard, A Hilbert Space Problem Book, Graduate Texts in Mathematics 19, Berlin Delaware New York New York, Springer Verlag, ISBN A 978-0-387-90,600 A Horn, Roger A. Johnson, Charles R. Matrix Analysis, Cambridge University Press, ISBN A 978-0-521-38632-6A Householder, Alston S., The Theory of Matrices in Numerical Analysis, New York, New York, Dover Publications, MRA 0378371A, Ksenowski, Wautek J., Principles of Multivariate Analysis, Oxford Statistical Science Series 3, The Clarendon Press Oxford University Press, ISBN A 978-0-19-852211-9, MRA. Nine hundred sixty nine thousand three hundred seventy a eta micron Kiyosi, ed encyclopedic dictionary of mathematics vol i four MIT press ISBN a nine hundred seventy eight dash zero dash two hundred sixty two dash o nine o two six dash one nine hundred one thousand seven hundred sixty two a lang surge analysis two Addison Wesleya lang surge calculus of several variables Berlin, Delaware, New York, New York, Springer Verlag, ISBN A 978-0-387-96405-8A, Lang, Serge, Linear Algebra, Berlin, Delaware, New York, New York, Springer Verlag, ISBN A 978-0-387-96412-6A, Lang, Serge, Algebra. Graduate Texts in Mathematics 211, New York, Springer Verlag, ISBN A 978-0-387-95385-4, MRA 1878556, Latouche, Guy. Ramaswamy, Vaidyanathan, Introduction to Matrix Analytic Methods in Stochastic Modeling, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics, ISBN A 978-0-89871-425-8A, Manning, Christopher D. Shawan Cortaza, Hinrich, Foundations of Statistical Natural Language Processing, MIT Press, ISBN A 978-0-262-13384, Mahata, K. M. Srinivasan, S. K., Stochastic Processes, New York, New York, McGraw Euro Hill, ISBN A 978-0-07-096612-3, Mirsky, Leonid, An Introduction to Linear Algebra, Courier Dover Publications, ISBN A 978-0-486-66472, Nering, Evil D. Linear Algebra and Matrix Theory, New York, Wiley, LCCNA 76-91646A, No Seidel, Jorge. Wright, Stephen J., Numerical Optimization, Berlin, Delaware, New York, New York, Springer Verlag, PA 449, ISBN A 978-0-387-30303-1A, Auerine, Steve. Practical C++ Programming, O'Reilly, ISBN A 978-0-596-00419-4A, Press, William H. Flannery, Brian P. Tukolsky, Soleil. Bettling, William T., LUD Composition and Its Applications, Numerical Recipes in Fortran, The Art of Scientific Computing, Cambridge University Press. PPA 34 a Euro 42 a, Punnan, Abraham P. Gutin, Gregory, The Traveling Salesman Problem and Its Variations, Boston, Massachusetts, Kluwer Academic Publishers, ISBN A 978-1-4020-0664-7 a, Rachel, Linda E., The Transition to Chaos, Conservative Classical Systems and Quantum Manifestations, 
Berlin Delaware New York New York, Springer Verlag, ISBN A 978-0-387-98788-0 Rowan, Louis Halle, Graduate Algebra, Non-Commutative View, Providence Rhode Island, American Mathematical Society, ISBN A 978-0-8218-4153 Minus 2 a. Angstrom Olin, Pavel, Partial Differential Equations and the Finite Element Method, Wiley Into Science, ISBN A 978-0-471-76409-0 a. Stinson, Douglas R., Cryptography, Discrete Mathematics and Its Applications, Chapman and Hall CRC, ISBN A 978-1-58488-508-5 Stewart, Joseph. Bullerge, Roland, Introduction to Numerical Analysis, Berlin Delaware New York New York, Springer Verlag, ISBN A 978-0-387-95452-3 Ward, J.P., Quaternions and Cayley Numbers, Mathematics and Its Applications 403, Dordgt, N.L., Kluwer Academic Publishers Group, ISBN A 978-0-7923-4513-8, MRA 1458894, Wolfram, Stephen, The Mathematica Book, Champaign, Illinois, Wolfram Media, ISBN A 978-0. 1-57955-022-6 Physics References, Bochum, Arno, Quantum Mechanics, Foundations and Applications, Springer, ISBN A 0-387-95330-2 Burgess, Cliff. Moore, Guy, The Standard Model. A Primer, Cambridge University Press. ISBN A 0-521-86036-9 Gunther, Robert D., Modern Optics, John Wiley, ISBN A 0-471-60538-7 Is Ixon, Claude. Zuber, Jean Bernard, Quantum Field Theory, McGraw Euro Hill, ISBN A 0-07-032071-3 Riley, Kenneth F. Hobson, Michael P. Bentz, Stephen J., Mathematical Methods for Physics and Engineering, Cambridge University Press, ISBN A 0-521-55506 Sab, Schiff, Leonard 1, Quantum Mechanics, McGraw Euro Hiller, Weinberg, Stephen, The Quantum Theory of Fields. Volume I, Foundations, Cambridge University Press. ISBN A 0 521 55001 A. Werrett, Brian S., Group Theory for Atoms, Molecules and Solids, Prentisher Euro Hall International, ISBN A 0 13 365461 3A. Zabradin, Anton. Brizin, A. Permil Doard. Kazakov, Vladimir. Serban, Dadina. Wiegman, Paul. Applications of Random Matrices in Physics, Berlin Delaware New York New York, Springer Verlag, ISBN A 978-1-4020-4530-1A, Historical References, A. Cayley A. Memoir on the Theory of Matrices. Phil. Trans. 148-1858-17-37. Math. Papers 2475-496, Barcher, Maxime, Introduction to Higher Algebra, New York, New York, Dover Publications, ISBN A 978-0-486-49570-5, reprint of the 1907 original edition, Cayley, Arthur, The Collected Mathematical Papers of Arthur Cayley, I, Cambridge University Press. PPA 123 Euro 126 A. Diodonna Copyright, Jean, ed. Abra Copyright Gar Copyright Destroy des Mathic Copyright Matic 1700 1900. Paris, F.R. Hermana, Hawkins, Thomas, Corchi and the Spectral Theory of Matrices, Historia Mathematica 2, 1 Euro 29, doi, 2.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1
Knobloch, Aberard, From Gauss to Weierstrass, Determinant Theory and Its Historical Evaluations, The Intersection of History and Mathematics, Science Network's Historical Studies 15, Basel, Boston, Berlin, Berger Currency User, PPA 51 Euro 66, MRA. 1,308,079er, Kronecker, Leopold, Hensel, Kurt, ed., Leopold Kronecker's Worker, Tubnera, Mira, Jagdish. Reschenberg, Helmut, The Historical Development of Quantum Theory, Berlin Delaware New York New York, Springer Verlag, ISBN A 978-0-387-96284-9er, Shen, Kangshan. Crossley, John N. Lunn, Anthony Wa Chung, Nine Chapters of the Mathematical Art, Companion and Commentary, Oxford University Press, ISBN A 978-0-19-853936-0A, Weistress, Carl, Collected Works 3A, External Links, Encyclopedic Articles, Haswinkel, Mikiel, ed., Matrix, Encyclopedia of Mathematics, Springer, ISBN A 978-1-55608-010-4A, History, Makshita, Matrices and Determinants, Matrices and Linear Algebra on the Earliest Uses Pages, Earliest Uses of Symbols for Matrices and Vectors, Online. Books, Core, Autique, Introduction to Matrix Algebra, ISBN A 978-0-615-25126-4A, The Matrix Cookbook, Retrieved March 24, 2014 A, Brooks, Mike, The Matrix Reference Manual, London, Imperial College, Retrieved December 10, 2008 A, Online Matrix Calculators, Simply Mother, Matrix Calculatora, Xior, Gang, Matrix Calculator, Retrieved December 10, 2008 A, Online Matrix Calculator, Retrieved December 10, 2008 A, Online Matrix Calculator, Retrieved November 26, 2009 A, OAET, Gary W. Bingham, Christopher, Makanova, University of Minnesota, School of Statistics, Retrieved December 10, 2008 A, A Freeware Package for Matrix Algebra and Statistics, Online Matrix Calculator, Retrieved December 14, 2009 A, Operation with Matrices in R.